Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Roxbury International Film Festival Daily Reads. Oh, it's really exciting today. We have um, actually the writer is a friend of mine and a colleague. So I first want to start with David. Hello, I'm David J. Curtis, and I'm the writer of Love of a Lifetime. Thank you, David. Uh, Josh, do what? Yes. Hi, everybody. My name is Joshua Lumide, and I am playing Darius. Great. And um, Jackie? Hello, everyone. My name is Jackie Davis, and I will be reading the role of Angela. Great. Naheem? Hello, everybody. My name is Naheem, and I will be playing the role of Robert. Okay. We're ready to start. We will see you later, David. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Liz and I'm reading the narrator. Love of a Lifetime by David J. Curtis. Interior master bedroom of a modest home, Saturday morning. Darius, black male 40s, is in bed with his wife Angela, black female 40s. Darius has just woken up. Despite the sunny day, the room's curtains are closed. He stares at the ceiling, turns his head, smiles and looks at his wife. Mm. Angela looks back at him playfully and sexually, smiles back. Darius shakes his head as he stops short of reaching toward her cheek with his hand. Love of a lifetime. <laughs> yes, we are blessed. Oh, yes, we are. <laughs> Angela is about to reach out to touch Darius's face as he shoots from bed and heads to the dresser with a slight limp where he casually flips a frame picture down out of focus. Where are you off to? You hungry? What was that about? Oh, nothing. Are you hungry? I'm starving. Not really. I just want to talk to you. Supposed to be a beautiful day today. Could you open the curtains? Oh, hold that thought. Darius heads to the kitchen. Darius starts to gather ingredients for breakfast. There's a montage of Darius preparing a full course breakfast of hold me waffles, turkey bacon, scrambled eggs, fresh fruit, coffee, and fresh squeezed orange juice. Angela enters the kitchen after putting on a robe. I just made you a coffee, just like you like it, a splash of almond creamer and two stevia. Where is, this? Where is this coming from? Oh, uh, I don't know. I guess I just felt uh, inspired. Hmm. <laughs> I appreciate it. I really do. But what? I want to talk to you. And I, uh, I kind of figured that's what you wanted to do. So how do you think things are going? You're uh, going. Okay, I guess. Is that the truth? Like I would lie to you? <laughs> you already know the answer to that. I just want you to tell me in your own words. Well, uh, for starters, you already know how things are really going. <laughs> I do. I just want to hear it from you. Don't you want to eat first? Look, at I know I do. I'm, I'm starving. Would you please use a fork and knife? Oh, my God. Babe, I'm so sorry. I'm just, I'm just hungry. <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> you kind of lost a little weight. Mm. You haven't been eating. You're right. Now I'm making up for lost meals. <laughs> so, do you mind if we talk while you eat? If we must. So, tell me how you're feeling. <laughs> well, yeah. 
I've been feeling better. Better than I felt in a long time. I'm going to uh, talk to Dr. Sharma to see if she can win me off the wall with trend because. Are you sure about that? Oh, yeah. Once I start getting back to exercising, I should be good. That doesn't help you eating waffles and turkey bacon when you could. I know, I know. Look, this was a special day. Special? You know damn well I can't eat this stuff. Well, like you always used to say, it's the thought that counts. <laughs> it is the thought, and I appreciate it, sweetie. I can always eat it for lunch, I'm just saying. <laughs> Maybe you should start getting out more often. <clears throat> oh boy. I didn't say all that. We'll, we'll take it one step at a time. See, it's been over a year. I think it's time for you to start getting your social life back. And leave you all alone? Oh. There's no way. Hey, I'll be fine. You don't have to worry about me. Really? <clears throat> Sweetie, the minute I start changing my... The conversation is interrupted by a knock at the front door. Darius looks at Angela, who shrugs. Are you expecting something? Living room, front door day. Darius arrives at the front door and looks through the peephole. Darius turns to Angela in a hushed tone. It's a lady bird. Angela shrugs and gives Darius a silent open the door signal. Darius opens the door as Robert smiles nervously. Hey, good, good morning, Mr. Hayes. I just wanted to, um, to let you know that I was, um, I'm going to be using the leaf blower for about a half an hour tops. Yeah, that's fine by us. Bye bye, by, uh, by me. How, how are you doing? If you want, uh, I, I, I can um, do the lawn for you too. You know something, Robert? If you could, that would be a great help. Thank you. You're quite welcome, Mr. Haynes. Darius holds up a fist to bump with Robert, who nervously and awkwardly bumps back. Robert turns and heads back to the yard. Darius smiles and closes the door. Darius has been talking to himself and has been all alone the whole time. Darius walks to a desk near the living room where a scrapbook is kept. He picks it up to look at the cover as a dream catcher falls out of the scrapbook. Darius stares at the dream catcher when, flashback from a year ago, Darius is in the driver's seat of a car as Angela is in the passenger seat, and they are both smiling and laughing. A dream catcher is hanging from the rear view mirror. There's a loud truck horn that pierces that moment when, present day living room day, Darius pauses and then collects the dream catcher and glances at the newspaper clipping of a story of the horrible crash that ended a life. He then tucks the newspaper clipping back into the scrapbook. Darius then places the scrapbook in the drawer. Darius then heads to the window, pauses, and draws open the drapes of his home for the first time in a year letting the sun shine in. Thank you, that was beautiful. Like to have all the actors and the writer back. <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm very impressed with this. Um, tears in my eyes. Thank you for sharing uh, this with us, David. It's wonderful to have your vision. And um, what's the inspiration for this piece? No. Oh. <laughs> and you're muted. <laughs> hmm.
Take your time, brother. Take your time. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I just texted Jackie. I said, I'm in, I'm in tears over here because I didn't realize how heartbreaking this was. And to hear it for the first time is just unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. Um, you guys are amazing. So are you. Um, thank you. Um, Very sweet piece. Thank yeah. you. From about 2017 until January of this year, I had about 10 to 15 people in my family and very close to me pass away, um, including my mom, my uh, two brothers, aunts and uncles, and, and uh, yeah, that, that's where the inspiration came from. And I was wondering, I wanted to ask, I wanted to pose the question, what do you do how do you deal when um, people leave your life? That was basically it. That's where the inspiration came from. Wow, it was beautiful. And were there any surprises in hearing it read? Like things like, oh, I hadn't thought of it that way. Um, I mean, I was surprised every every minute with and I, I intentionally did not want to direct the actors. I know I had uh, discussed that with Josh uh, earlier. I said, you know, do your thing. <laughs> you, you bring whatever you have, have to it because I know what I would do beforehand and I wanted to see what the actors brought and you guys brought it. Mm -hmm. Were there any things that, that were like, huh, I hadn't thought of it that way, but now, I like that, that direction, or, mm, this is. Um, I, I would say the, char the character, Robert, I mean, with uh, amazing actor, Naheem Garcia, you know, bringing his stuff to it. Thank you, Naheem, amazing job. It was like, oh, okay, that's, a, that's another way to look at it. I took note of that, you know? Um, and it, yeah, it was, it was just perfect. It, re it really, it, it, uh, it exceeded my expectations hearing it. Wow. That's wonderful to hear. Yeah. And what are your plans or hopes on, on filming this? So <laughs> I actually have, uh, my script supervisor who's in the, who's in, he's, who's attending here and, uh, we're working on bringing all of this to light. Um, the goal is to, to have this made this fall. Uh, I have a DP and we're in discussions and, uh, and, and yeah, yeah, we, we wanna shoot it this fall. Um, um, there is some possible funding that I have uh, coming in, you know, knock on wood, cross our fingers and pray that it comes in because I wanna, I wanna shoot it this fall. Okay. And before I get to the actors and the um, people that have written things in the chat, I wanna sort of say, wait a second, what has been your experience with the Rocks Film Festival? That's, that's for you david oh, oh. <laughs> i was like, yeah. so I was like is that for before i get I got to the like, asking the actors things I, and getting I, to the i got audience. like uh like about <laughs> seven uh chats and i was like oh my god no, i'm gonna get to the chats i'm gonna yeah. read the chats <laughs> okay. um my experience has been out of this world it's been absolutely phenomenal the whole festival it's like I've been tired every day because, you know, trying to, I know you, you have too, uh, Andrea and uh, uh, 
Naheem, trying to get to everything because there's so many colleagues um, and, and friends who have films this year. And it's like, I think it was the outpouring from COVID and everyone was in their labs and created and wanted to present. And it, and it, it has been amazing. It's wonderful. Now, do any of the actors have something? And don't worry, um, audience, I, I see the chat and I'm going to be reading it. Um, I'm going to be asking your questions. Uh, any of the actors, Naheem? I see you raised oh, your hand. Um, I, I read it several times. And every time I read it, I got very um, emotional. Like it touched me. And um, because I know your business, <laughs> I applaud you for coping with death and taking that energy and writing it and doing something constructive. Um, you're just having one hell of a good time this past weekend from yeah. directing to writing to performing. So uh, I'm glad to take the ride with you. And it was just very wonderful. And I don't, I, I, I'm glad you're pleased. I don't know what I was doing with the character because it's, it's uh, you don't want to be disrespectful. You want to go over, but you know, you want to. No, I, I appreciate <laughs> you, man. But I, but I thank you for sharing and, and, I, and I love you. you. Love you too, man. You know that. Thanks. Any of that, uh, Josh, Joshua? Yes, yes. I mean, um, you know, it's a given. This is very, very heart-wrenching. I remember my uh, first time reading it, and I was like, wait, he was alone this whole time. Oh, man. And, you know, it says something about letting go, about, you know, acceptance, about uh, losing a loved one. You know, uh, we could all feel the energy of, we all know that energy of, um, you know, what it feels like to, accepting change and you know acceptance and loss and we all know that energy we put words on it but that energy is always there and um, having that be brought out in this medium and this story was uh was very very well done and uh, yeah it was fun to work on fun to work on yeah. fun to work with yes yeah. it was great it was great to hear you on this joshua and see you indeed indeed yeah, I'm a lot glad people are connecting that hadn't connected before. Any, if, any if I could say one more thing, I'm yes. sorry. Um, no, Paul. Yeah, <laughs> Josh and, uh, and and Jackie. That was the best chemistry on a reading. I I you do excellent acting, excellent everything. I just loved it, and I just wanted to say that it was really you made it even worse for me emotionally because I'm sitting there listening, looking at you all, going, "Oh my god." And I'm, you know, I'm still teary eyed about it. So good job. I just want to throw Liz. Excellent. Just thank you for working. It's super yeah. team here. Super team. Super team. <laughs> you brought it home. And yes, I agree. Everyone was fantastic. Thanks, Liz, Naheem. Did Jackie, have any comments? Um, just, I, you know, we're all, we all pretty much know each other here. And, and, and for the most part, we're all friends. And, and so David, I'm so aware of the loss that you've experienced and um, just, just I, I just wanted to honor the piece and, and not make it a ghost story, but make it the, the, the embodiment of love that you wrote this character to be. Right. I thought I thought you did a really wonderful job of of um your your grace and bone on loss. Your grace was graceful and amazing. <laughs> well, I take notes. I, I take I, I follow my direction. <laughs> so thank you, David. And thank you, Nah. You know I love you. Liz, did you have any? Um, just want to really uh, thank Roxbury International Film Festival for creating this and giving writers a space to to hear their work. Um, and I've I've shared my my sentiments with David about this, um, both sharing that 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 journey of losing someone and. Um, you know, it's 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 not easy putting that type of work out there, and it's very vulnerable. And you know, David, I love you, man. Like, this is love fantastic you too, work. Sis. So I'm going to start reading some of the comments aloud. Sharon says, "Oh, David," and uh, Isa says, uh, "Wow, so powerful and full of humanity and heart." And uh, Renee says, sending lots of love your way, David. Thank you for sharing this with us. And Sharon said, yes, beautiful, Jackie. So wonderful to see you. Uh, and Issa also said, 
I think there's a cognitive dissonance between moving on with life and holding on to memories, experience, and the love of people who transition. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And Denise says, wow, amazing job. Very emotional. Parmi said, beautiful reading. So touching. Thank you for sharing your story with us. And Lisa Terry, listening, love listening while driving works well as a radio read too. <laughs> That's a good one. Nancy said, so much loss. Thank you for sharing this with us. And um, Sharon said, hi to Naheem. Uh, Ruby said, excellent job to David for the writing and the actors in bringing David's writing to life. The That's the script David soup. Sorry. What? That's, That's the that? script supervisor. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the reading gave such weight to the script. It gave context. Uh, and, there may, and that's why she says making notes, David. Okay, because otherwise that would seem a little odd. <laughs> but it was the script supervisor. And Lisa Terry says, I love your empathy with the actors, allowing them to be free and creative. And uh, Christopher James said, outstanding, David. Thanks for sharing. Uh, that's from Gilda and, and Chris. And uh, Lois Roach, yes, yes, yes to the super team. We had Lois's um, reading last week, which was just wonderful. Um, and speaking of wonderful, Sharon said, just so wonderful to see you guys from the way back. Um, oh, from way back. And uh, let's see. Emily says, so, so proud of you, David. There was so much palpable love and care in every line. Thank I you, Emily. Agree. I agree. And so will this be a, um, a short piece or will this be a series or will this be um, a feature or no idea? Um, right now, the, the goal is to do a short and not to put everything out there, but the plan is to shoot it over three days. Mm -hmm. um you know i wanted to stretch it out because there was a lot of a lot of shots that i want to include in it mm -hmm. you know th there's a lot that i want to include in it and as a matter of fact isa bibbins will be doing the score oh okay <laughs> um, so yeah um yeah yeah thanks isa yeah there's a there's a whole lot of um plans we have for this hmm and uh, said, uh, let's see, who's, I can't, Emily said, hope you're well. Emily, we met on Chords Prod. No, that's you saying that. Never mind. Um, <laughs> so why three days? Um, it's so because specific. I, because I don't want to rush it. That's why. Oh, I meant, you said three days, like a, like a period. Three days of shooting. To we're just going to shoot it until we finish. Uh, well, oh, this is as this is the producer and me talking now. Okay. I plan to shoot it over a long weekend holiday because of rental fees. When uh, you rent from a, a place, they give you the extra day free. So, you know, costs, cutting costs. I'm glad I asked that because filmmakers, that's the kind of information that that people would want, you yeah. know, like, oh, hadn't thought That's of that. That's a secret. Don't tell anyone. Oh, okay. well, <laughs> yeah, exactly, Lisa. <laughs> yeah. Don't <Exactly>. share. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good information. Do you have a place or are you looking for a kind of a place or? Yeah, there's someone I know who was trying to offer their home as a, I don't know, it'll come back to me. Was it me? <laughs> Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. We'll talk. We'll talk. We'll yeah. No. No. That is. People. That is. It is fine. Yes. Yes. Um. And as Liz, as my witness, we've shot many things in my home, and one of the good things about my house is it has two entrances that can look like two different homes. Oh, that's. Well, you awesome. only need one, but I only need one. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, we've we've shot lots. The only thing that people don't like is the walls are white. 
but now we can like green screen and stuff like that but that's what they are and i don't mm -hmm. own the place so we can't change the color of the walls and we can't put stuff on the walls but we've shot many films at my place and Sharon said, I would love to help out on this, David. Please right. let me know. I'm glad we're recording this. I got you, Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Do you have anything else that you would? Um... Um, thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Allison. Thank you, Rocks Film Fest. This is this has been so amazing. Thank you to Joshua. Thank you to uh, Jackie, to Liz, my little sister, Naheem, my brother. Uh, and thanks to you, Andrea, for, for facilitating this. And pushing uh, you to yeah, put your address. I, I was going to save that best for last. <laughs> um, Andrea was the one who said, David, don't you have a script? You, you should submit. And I was like, nah, this is like- and I can you know, second like, that because I was a witness. Yeah, I was <laughs> like, no, you know, I'm not giving my babies away. You know, you know I, I've written several things, but this was the first public showing of one of my pieces, the shorter pieces. I've got series, I've got full length scripts, uh, and this is the first for me. And um, because I, I was so, it was so personal to me and I had to like, make myself do it. So she talked me into doing it. So thank you. You are thank welcome. You. Thank you. you are and, welcome. And, and you're I'm a good writer, my friend. to what you're going thank to you. um, bring to us next year. Mm. Yeah, you never know. Because it, it will be there. And um, Lisa's saying, uh, been there because yeah, we pushed her to do her script last year yep. also. Huh, somebody came on. Hey. David, oh, go. you know you're on the, the live the, feed, right? I think you gave out the wrong, um, the wrong oh, Zoom link to people. He's got the wrong Zoom link. Yeah, but it was yeah, because it's you. Obviously, it's you, David, that gave it. Yes, yes. Because his name, it, yeah, name his name awesome. came in with mine. So you get to uh, see hey, Cisco, who what's up? It is. What's going on? I was like, oh Cis no, I'm missing. Cisco me. is our DP, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now that you're on, Cisco, any comments on the, the reading or anything? Oh, man, I, I mean, I, I read the script and everything was lovely. You know, the first thing he sent me the script, I said, I'm doing this. Let's do it. Let's go. Yeah, he, he didn't even hesitate. He said, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing <laughs> it. I was like, you, you're you the DP? <laughs> yeah, I, I like the idea, you know, from the, the way it's going to be shot. And I, when I'm thinking in my head, though, me and Dave are really good at to like pre-planned stuff so i like yeah. that in itself because that could tell the story and the visual of it so yeah. i gotta say it's a beautiful joy in 25 years to see where we are now with films yeah. and i'm just i can't wait to see what happens in the next couple of years yeah. because all of us are teaching young people and these young people are coming up and they're doing their thing and so uh it's just a wonderful thing because there was a time when we were struggling to have a career or a job in Boston. And now uh -huh. we're looking at careers. Yeah. Folks, uh -huh. have careers. Yes. Folks have careers. Folks have careers. Folks on this camera that I'm looking at all yeah. have careers doing what we love. So mm -hmm. kudos to us and keep on pushing. Yeah. And the versatility of the stories. Yesterday, I went to um, a series of screenings and, you know, it's the worlds that you see. Like one of them was... Um, senior citizens, people in their 70s and 80s who uh, started swimming. And um, some one person like start, started when she was in her 60s and decided to got into it competitively. And there's this, there, it's called like the dream team. And there is a, a whole competitive senior citizens sports thing. So you see these women, the you, you get to meet them. And there's one like in her 80s that's competing with other women in their 80s and their 90s and their 70s, wow. stuff like that in swimming. Wow. And in that film, they talk about the other thing that people like, uh, you know, people say, oh, black people can't swim and everything. They all talk about how the fact that they weren't allowed to swim, there'd be like swimming pools that were yeah. not open to black people. Yeah. And wow. one person was in a community where uh, somebody was able to get a pool opened for black people. Wow. Um, and so that's how she learned to swim as a child. But the others 
were, did not have that experience and they were not allowed to go to the pools. And um, a few years ago, they had a film at Rocks Film Festival and my mother actually knew the person who had been in the pool in Florida where they threw wow. acid in the pool wow. when the um, black people were, were in. And they would close and there are places where they closed down pools when integration happened because, well, if you're gonna let them in, then nobody's gonna have a pool and stuff like that. So that kind of a film, it's a story that, like a triple story, one of what happened in the past, one that's what's happening now, and the whole thing of seniors. And from that, um, Lisa's sister, Allison said, well, I'm in my 60s. I'm going to find out about this. I'm going to start, so I'm going to wow. join this, and I'm going to be in the competition. And all of that, you know, that yeah. these are the kind of stories that you're not going to see necessarily yeah. in other film festivals. And there yeah. was another one that was purely about black joy and they interviewed all these different people um all ages about black joy and wow. you not only saw the people and and heard about what's what's joy to somebody like one person was reading books one person was a skateboard you know all that kind of thing but mm -hmm. also just little things about personalities there were these identical twin girls and it was so funny. One would talk and, and she said, and what brings me joy is art and da, da, da. And my sister, she likes such and such. I'm thinking, oh, she doesn't get to speak. And, and I knew some twins like that, that one would speak for the other. And then later the other one spoke. And then they said, well, they speak for each other. And, you know, just that, that part of the personality that you, that you yeah. see, you know, there's, yeah. there's so many. Yeah, so many different stories to tell. Yeah, you and know, we I usually would, only see the one like. Right. <laughs> one I, of I my favorite. Saying, okay. Oh, sorry. Go sorry, ahead. I, go I ahead. was no, saying go, 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 go. to, uh, I think it was when we were at Suya Joint on, I think it was Sunday. I was saying to. That's my spot. John oh. <laughs> Adegaje, who uh, uh, is the writer of Yay. Um, I was saying to him that there's, and and it was, uh, I think it was Malik Williams too, that there's a, there's like this renaissance of black films in Boston now. It's like, there's this, there's just, uh, uh, of just people of color telling many, many different stories. Cause I look at the film that I co-directed uh, that Liz uh, Ng wrote, um, Plus Ones. We had the gamut of every time, I mean, every, type of representation in that film in front of and behind the camera every representation and it was all love all love and, and it was and that was intentional too that was an intent that was definitely intentional but there are so many different stories to be told and there's this this renaissance and resurgence of of not just black films but just diverse films man Mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. and love we're seeing so yeah. much more black love i mean yours had grief but it had love and mm -hmm. that's that's something we 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 don't see right a right. lot or we hadn't yeah. in the past and now yeah. we're we're starting to see it regularly black yeah. love asian love like yesterday there was um one with these uh it was uh, from one guy was, I think he was in China and another was um, in America. But anyway, yeah, because one had to go back to China. And it was this these two guys and it was their relationship. And the whole thing was them talking to each other on the phone because they weren't together in, in person. And you saw their relationship and their love bloom mm. as, as, as lockdown happens and one had to go back to China and the other one's still here. And then one comes back, but into a different part of America. And it's just this whole story and it's just, it's like, wow, yeah, that's right. Some relationships change drastically yeah. because of COVID and yep. people were separated for like a year. And what happens to that relationship? Do they get that together? Yeah, I saw a movie similar to that uh, last night uh, called Past Lives, beautiful film. Not something, you know, kind of they were separated far apart, but it's funny how this thing called love that's holding us all up really is, um, is, is really, you know, it's it's now just now really starting to be the center of all films. At least that's what I'm seeing. And um, 
and yeah, I think it's a it's a great um, great thing to have when we see a film and we recognize the love in it. Like the script we read uh, last week with Lois, you know, that was nothing but love, and you know, and this, you know, love's at the center, and it's like you know, it's, yes. it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It, it's refreshing to see films that look and have people that look like us that aren't killing and having sex throughout the whole movie, you know, or exposing. It's a movie that's telling a story and we're captured by it because people can write now. People are really writing well. They're telling stories very well. And it's it's exciting because every time you look on TV, somebody's dying, somebody's doing some sexual something. And after a while, you, you know, that's why TMC is a great channel, right? <laughs> Turner, <laughs> Turner, I mean, TCM, Turner Classic. Right, right. Because, you know, there was stories. Then there was, you know, there was Love action, but it was a story. Not the, I'm going to kill you, man, pow, pow. And, uh, 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 you know, come on. Get to, you know, that's not all. That's not who we are only. We are everything else. We're scientists. Yeah, not a we're model. doctors. Where you know, like I was thinking about this story of yours. It would be amazing when he stepped back into the world to find out this man is responsible for other people's lives and he's home talking to his dead wife <laughs> every night. Like, wow, when is he gonna fall apart? And now, you know, so we talked about this, and so yeah, Dave, you got um, yeah, you got you got a beautiful thing going on, and uh, this whole weekend is beautiful and and because. I got to see my colleagues who I've been working with all these years, you know, struggling to make yes. this infrastructure yes. really solid. Yes. So the young kids that are coming from Boston Arts Academy and all over Massachusetts that are studying art have a place. They can, you can go, but come back home, bring it home because mm -hmm. you can have a career mm -hmm. here. And it's just refreshing. And, I, I, and I'm very proud to be a Bostonian. And I'm very yeah. proud to be in the film industry here in New England. Uh, I'm very proud of y'all. Like, I, I can't stop. I may not look it, but I'm smiling in my heart. I'm looking at, you know, I'm looking at Jackie. I'm looking at, like, Josh, he, I've been wanting to work with you. Man, I'm sitting here saying, for what? Because you're the bomb, brother. <laughs> you really, really, I can't wait to see, I can't wait to work with you and, and raise it. So, yes, uh, you know, Liz, you wrote a movie during some hard times, and yeah, damn it, girl, you did it. You know, it's like, we are living proof mm -hmm. that this can work in Massachusetts and we're doing it and I'm proud of y'all and just keep me in the fold call me anytime yeah. I don't now, care now hey, money Nahim are you a public speaker because I am so inspiration I am I'm an advocate for okay. films in right. Boston uh -huh. <laughs> and what we I think what people tend to forget so often and you kind of alluded to it uh Nahim when you talked about the character and what he means to other people is what people mean to other people. A lot of times you think like, oh, I'm not doing anything. My life isn't going the way that I, I want, but you actually are out there in the world and you're an ins you don't realize what an inspiration you are to yeah. other people. Yeah. Like you might not be doing something, right. but that one time um, Lisa uh, invited me to work with a class of uh, middle schoolers and they did something. And I'm telling this because I think all of you could do this kind of thing too. Um, we did a talk about movies and we made a one minute movie, you know, like with the cell phone. And so first you break down, say, what kind of movies do you like? And they said this, that, and the other. And then there's genres. That's what kind awesome. of genre would it be? And then who makes the movies? And, and then we talked about it. Like, so what That's are they beautiful. wearing? Does somebody decide yeah. that? Who's producing it? What directing? All that kind of stuff. And then broke mm -hmm. it down, had them be the different people, like somebody's head of costume, some yeah. set design, all of that. And then made this little movie. And even when they're talking about doing the script, we're saying, okay, now you've moved to another location. Uh, are you going to be able to go to this second location pretending that we're making the right. we're in room? But we're saying, so now if you're going into the woods, what woods are you going to use and how are you going to do that? And is there another way you can shoot this? And then we did the thing. And then afterwards they learned about making a film, what it takes. David? Uh, um, Liz and I and the other co-director, uh, Caitlin Grace Reddy, attended the Rhode Island Black Film Festival as panelists. As we did a, a quick um, trailer, this is a, what is it, two months ago, Liz? at the Rhode Island Black Film Festival. And we did showed our trailer of Plus Ones. And um, that's where we met uh, Leon, who has this thing, what was it called, Liz, do you remember? The Bronx Film Initiative or something like that, where they actually did what you just described, Andrea. 
with young kids. They said, okay, who's going to produce it? Who's going to be script supervisor? Who's going to do this? What is the script? They wrote the script. Mm -hmm. They directed. They produced. They did everything. And the movie was amazing. It was amazing. These young people. And one of the, I think the lead actor got, he won an award or something like wow. that. Wow. Um, it was so, uh, the, the name of, do you remember the name of the movie, Liz? Not right now. It'll, it'll come to me after yeah, this is done. Yeah. yeah. John, John, I thought that's what you guys did. I, I, I knew that's that. What, yeah. That's what John's that. doing at BA yeah. with his students. Yeah. He's teaching them at yeah. a high school level. Imagine right. when they get to college. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I think that, I think that that's one of the most important things is to really, for all of us to pay it forward. You're all doing yes. that. In yes. one way or the other, you're teaching, you're performing, you're mentors. And I just think that we just need to keep, you know, making films, making films that are outside of what mainstream media thinks of us. Right. Presenting those films in however many different ways we do it, work together and collaborate, mm -hmm. I think is really important. Boston's a small town. Yeah. Um, it is a city, but we all know each other, right? We've all right. known each other for a long time or a short time. Um, and I just love the fact that uh, that Allison and I get the opportunity to curate your films, to to bring your stories to a big screen and that you get to connect and continue connecting with each other. And, and I think that that's just I think that's it. And I think that, you know, with the film tax credit, people now can stay in Massachusetts. They don't have to go anywhere. They can raise their families here and people can stay together. Um, it's a tribe. And I think that we we really felt that this year at this festival, yeah. you know, from the community screenings to the screenings at the MFA to the screenings, you know, at Northeastern, I think we're feeling that. And it feels really great because 25 years ago, that's how we started with local filmmakers right. um, and local folks. And it was, and it, that's the feeling that it was then. And, and so we're sort of like now doing that and we're bringing in the international people and the other people from around the country. Yeah. Um, and that's great too. But I, I think that this year I had just really a, a really special feeling. And I think because yeah. of all the local yeah. folks that are, that are back uh, and making really good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And and people, whenever they're making the films now, SAG after it has the um, micro budget agreement, so you can use professional actors. That, that was a game changer. So many times I'm looking at films and it's like, oh, obviously they got their neighbors <laughs> next door and their family. And you don't have to do that now. You right. can put it out there and get that one, and you don't have to. You know, yeah. it's not money attached to it if it's under a certain amount of under twenty thousand. And the micro budget agreement has exploded yes. yes excellent filmmaking i, yes. I have found yes, you know you see things now and it's perfect micro budget is a, is a game changer yeah yeah it and and it was created for actors to be able to do not because so many actors saying i want to do that film but i can't i can't do my friend's film because i can't do it under a contract or i want to make a film but i can't afford to but now everyone can and that he has his hand up yeah, no, uh, uh, I, I, I was asked to read something to Lisa, and I don't know if I was asked to read it up publicly, but I'm going to read it because it's beautiful. Lisa Simmons, thank you for all that you have created over these past 25 years. It is an honor to participate in Witness, Lois Roach. Oh, yes. Oh, and Lisa and Allison are on the front page of the Boston Lo Globe today. Lois is like the article. Yeah. Lois okay. is saying that to me. Okay. Lois has been amazing in creating art and and theater and working with young kids for for over a quarter of a decade. And um, you know, we're all doing it. We're all doing it. We're we're all doing it together. We're all and we've been doing it for a long time. And it's just great to um to have it come to a fruition for everybody, whether it's theater, dance, poetry film whatever it is I just feel like there's this energy in the city like someone said around creative arts for black and brown people and and now's our time to 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 you know work in our theaters and work in our film spaces and and just bring these stories to wider audiences and we have the opportunity to do that and we have people that are building theaters and people that are opening spaces for that to happen and we just need to take advantage of that yes definitely definitely yes. This has been amazing. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Cass. Thank you, David, for your Thank for your you. awards. We're looking forward to seeing, helping with the project. And we also know, you know, as as a writer, 
on a producer, you need money. So don't hesitate to throw that out there as well. Okay. Um, the other thing about the online program is there are all recorded Q and A's that follow after the screening. So that's great too. And Renee, who um, is our content editor and our website um, editor has put up all of the Q and A's from the past week of uh, of the festival. So if you were in a film and you did a Q and A, it's gonna be up on our, our, on our YouTube channel. So the, and sure the daily reads are, will be on And the, the daily reads are up there too. Okay, don't forget to donate everyone, donate to um, Rocks Film Festival. And when people are doing their um, PayPal's, not PayPal, um, whatever the, the filmmakers do that ask for money, I forget what it's called, but when they do those. Crowdfunding. Uh, yeah, yeah, I always do that because I figure, okay, there's these big organizations like, yeah, my dad died of lung cancer, but they get a lot of money. Whereas if I donate money to, um, Liz's film or David's film or, or Joshua's film, I think it goes a little bit farther. <laughs> you know, I think they appreciate it more. And so that's what, I mean, everybody can have their own philosophy, but my philosophy late, late, lately has been donate to um, friends and family because they need it. And, you know, so when, when people do their crowdfunding, that's what I, I donate to. <laughs> awesome. Okay, see you tomorrow awesome. for Thank you. I forget which play, the deal. The deal. <laughs> the deal. The deal. Thank, Thank you. you everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you.